Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do some fashion tones. But to start with, it's going to be a double process. So first, I've got to use the synchro lift, and I've got to lift it light enough before we even put the fashion tones on. So what I've done, I've sectioned it off into four different sections. I'm going to start at the very bottom. You can see here, I'm just going to throw the foils in. This is the first step to make sure it's light enough so that fashion tone stays in her hair. So I'm just taking slices because I want it to be pretty dramatic. So you can see I'm just pulling that slice all the way out, pulling the foil down, making sure it's saturated and then just folding it up. So once finished with the back, I'm going to move on to the front, but you can see I've moved to actually stand in front of it. Again, I'm working with slices, but I'm working all the way through the part. So it doesn't really matter where she parts the hair, I want to see the same amount of color. So again, just pulling that really tight against the head, making sure it's pretty close, just taking slices all the way back. When you're foiling long hair like this, or medium to long hair, you want to make sure the sections are really clean. Keep your work clean, it's just going to make it go better. So now that I've done with the mill section, I'm moving on to the sides. I'm going to do diagonal back, just to make sure that we get enough colour in her hair. You can see that front section I've left out. I actually haven't done that foil yet. I'm going to do that later on, because I want to keep that blonde. I don't want to over-process it. Okay, so we've rinsed that out and we've dried it, so we're moving on to the second stage. So you can see it's just blonde highlights at the moment. So now I'm going to put my fashion tones in. I'm going to start with blue on one side and then we're going to alternate. We're going to go from blue to purple and add a couple of different tones in there. We're using the Pop XG, which I love. I love the whole idea of these fashion tones and just the whole look. So I started off just with two foils down the bottom, but my very next section, I'm going to take three, three foils right across. So we make it a little bit thinner, the foils, but I want to make sure we get three right across because we're going to cover the whole head. So right under the occipital bone where the head gets a little bit wider, you just want to take your sections a little bit smaller so we can fit that extra foil in. Okay, so we left it blonde on top, but I actually love this look. I think it's cool. You can see here the colors pop out underneath. I think it's a cool end result. I really enjoyed doing this one. So as always, look, if you've liked my videos, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. 